This activity is to teach children to deal with variables and sets. You can use this equipment at every age from about 3 to 11. It depends how complicated you make the exercises. The equipment is very easy to make. It's all made at home. We've got two sorts of shapes here. We've got long thin shapes like this, which the children quite often call sticks. And then we've got round shapes, which the children often call stones. So you need, for each shape, you need a big shape, you need medium shapes, and you need small shapes. So every circle has a big, a medium, and a small. And every long stick shape has a big, a medium, and a small. We've got three different colours, black, red and white. So we have three white circles, three red circles, one in each size, and three black circles, one in each size. And it's the same with the sticks. The only other equipment you need are some circles. The circles we've made from just cutting the edges off paper plates, it's that simple. So we use these with the younger age group, just one circle, so that they can make sets inside the circle, like a set of white things or a set of long things, or a set of things which are not red, and so on. Um, at some point, we start cutting the shapes so that they look like brackets. When we start coding, we have to explain to them that the set of things inside the circle is the same as a set of things inside the brackets. So that's where we go next, but for now we're just going to use one circle And if health, I just think actually Roy Pesai Koch. He got Pesai Koch, and I am right. Pesai Koch and a kill. Fantastic day. And he called you Kilchi Vani. Some of the things that you know are hard. And I can't now that you Diane Hardy, Diane Tom, fantastic Diane Hardy. So with the kelch. And the kelch now, how funny, pethai sharp kelch on and so D. Sharp 
As I said at the beginning, uh, this particular set of equipment is so versatile, you can use it with children up to the age of 11 quite easily. Because clearly, as they get more proficient and they get better at coding, then you can start using two overlapping circles to show things which are round and red, or round and black. Then you can add more circles again, so that you can start doing subsets. You can even start using brackets to show how brackets in coding work. 